Hi everyone, it's Gary Nixon here. This is your planning outlook on Tuesday the 26th of March. The rest of this week is more or less what we've got at the moment, with high pressure towards the south and a generally damp southwesterly coming into western Scotland. Changes developing though from Friday as a cold front comes down from the northwest, uh, lowering freezing levels into the weekend, and a distinctly chilly outlook is on the cards into the start of April. Let's see how that looks on the 850 millibar chart. That's a little bit higher up compared to the Scottish tops at the moment. It would be the equivalent of about 5,000 feet, 1,500 metres or so in the atmosphere at this stage. We're above freezing for the next few days at least, so we'll skip on over a few days. Friday is the day where we see uh, the front coming down and freezing levels dropping quite markedly behind a cold front, most likely late in the day Friday across northern and northwestern Scotland and overnight into Saturday uh, more widely across the highlands. The freezing levels could well come down to six to 800 metres at this stage. Uh, as we go into Saturday, Scotland, the higher tops are sub-zero, around 800 metres or so is your likely freezing level. England and Wales more likely just staying above freezing. What's left of a cold front will be, though, sinking slowly southwards, so temperatures will tend to drop. And uh, as we go through into Sunday, uh, the very cold air is around across the country. The coldest of the air skirting past northern Scotland. The values shown on this chart are a good few degrees too low. But you'd expect uh, minus two, minus three, or maybe just below on the highest tops in Scotland for Sunday. And if we take that onwards into next week, just briefly, and there may be some variations in freezing level from day to day, but overall it's that cold air mass that stays in charge coming around from the northwest. So the mountains staying sub-zero over a good many days for the beginning of April. These are the charts for the next few days this week and high pressure is to the southwest of us on Wednesday. Fronts are trailing past Scotland enough again to give a lot of murk and rain and drizzle to the northwest highlands. Not too much at the further south you go, say towards Loch Lomond and only spits and spots that passing eastwards. Highest cloud breaks then toward the eastern side of the highlands. And across England and Wales, many tops clearing, some fragments of cloud uh, coming into western parts of the Lake District, but it should lift above many tops. For Thursday, it looks as though fronts are a bit more towards the north, so substantially dry. I suspect it's still rather damp across some of those western mountains, though, with that southwesterly in charge, low clouds still being pulled onto those western coastal areas. Further inland you go, though, across the highlands, the more broken the cloud is, and it could just be banks or fragments of cloud around some higher slopes. Some of the highest tops may well poke out just above some of that cloud in places, and the best breaks more toward the east. The wind from the southwest across Scotland looks pretty strong. It's a stable southwesterly, so it means essentially the air is forced over the hills and through some of the passes and cols, giving quite gusty conditions in places, not just on the very highest terrain. Lighter winds for England and Wales and should be a good amount of sunshine around. A similar good day for England and Wales and much of the south of Scotland on Friday. A front coming in gradually from the northwest. Timing and speed of this is uncertain, but it seems to be quite slow. So a deterioration coming down from the northwest through the day. That rain turning heavier for the northwest highlands, the west highlands eventually. And I suspect some rain edging further into central parts of Scotland later in the day on Friday. Ahead of that front will be a strong southwesterly, could be extensive gales across the highlands. It's a stable wind flow that it will mean that there's some very powerful gust through the passes, through the coals, even to lower slopes. So just watch the strength of that wind again on Friday. By Saturday, the cold front has sunk southwards, weakening as it does so, but a zone of cloud and spits and spots of rain likely across England and Wales. Chillier air then has followed from the north, sub-zero on the Scottish tops, maybe the highest tops of northern England as well. Something of a feature just north of Scotland may produce areas of showers. Those could become frequent with some snow and some hail, at times falling to quite low levels in northern Scotland. Fewer showers across the southern side of the highlands and it may well become essentially a dry, bright day for northern England. High pressure builds back in on Saturday night into Sunday and skies are likely to clear widely with a widespread hard frost on the cards for Sunday morning. Should lead to a dry, bright day though with mostly light winds beneath that area of high pressure. A chilly day but should be a good amount of sunshine. So as we start the new week, high pressure and a chilly air mass is around. Briefly, a westerly flow is likely around Monday across Scotland. 
But as we go more towards the middle of the week, as low pressure moves towards Scandinavia and high pressure builds over the Atlantic, it tips that wind flow more towards a north or northwesterly and the air originating off Greenland or directly from the Arctic, so a cold pattern that will be in charge. Low freezing levels on the mountain, six or 700 metres or below. There'll be showers with some hail and thunder, real April showers, but with a distinctly wintry edge to them because snow at times will fall to the lowest slopes. The wind speeds will tend to vary. At times, though, could be strong even gale force, so giving a severe chill factor where exposed. And all in all, it looks a cold pattern that stays with us through the rest of that week. Complications once we go further ahead. I suspect that low pressure is somewhere around Scandinavia, maybe even somewhere across Central and Southern Europe by this stage. Slowing down the pattern then, so not necessarily seeing things steaming in from the Atlantic, but it could just leave a cool and fairly showery mixed pattern as we head onwards into that next weekend and further ahead towards the middle of the month. At the very least though, as we turn the page into April, it's a distinctly wintry pattern that's expected across the mountains. Make sure you're prepared for that one. We'll update the video for you on Friday. You can stay up to date with all your local forecasts, of course, every day on our website. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.